I think it is easier to remember these two muscles as a pair. They both are connected on the distal parts of the fingers, so they both flex the fingers at the farthest most joint. Their location on the forearm is also similar. They are both deep muscles of the arm. The muscle in purple is the flexor pollicis longus, and let's look at what it means. It means long thumb flexor. It's obvious that flexor means flexor and longus means long. So that leaves pollicis, and it means thumb. Let me explain why we use the word longus. The thumb can be flexed at either of these joints. Each action is caused by a different muscle. The purple muscle causes the flexion at the far joint, and this muscle is longer than the other. That's where we get the word longus. As a side note, the muscle that flexes this joint is the flexor pollicis brevis. Brevis means shorter. But what is important to remember here is the name flexor pollicis longus. The muscle in blue is flexor digitorum profundus, and the meaning of that name is deep digital flexor. The flexor lets us know that uh, it flexes the fingers as opposed to extending them. Instead of using the word fingers, we're using the word digits. So instead of saying deep finger flexor, we're saying deep digital flexor. Profundus means deep, and um, there's a flexor digitorum superficialis, which we will uh, discuss later. And so at that time, I'll compare the two. But for now, you just need to know that profundus means deep. So now we know what each part of these names means. Um, and we should be able to identify the muscle based on the name or create the name based on looking at the muscle. The flexor digitorum profundus attaches to the end of the fingers and to the ulna. The flexor pollicis longus attaches to the tip of the thumb and to the radius. Let's look at these muscles in relationship to all the other muscles of the arm. First, I will add the muscles that we've talked about so far. You can see that only the pronator quadratus is deeper than these two. Here are the rest of the muscles. I'm adding the flexor pollicis longus. The plastic model has skin on the hand, so I'm laying the muscles over the skin, but I'm placing them above where the attachments are. And here are the deep digital flexors of the arm.